Hello friends, I'm Miss Abby at the La Crosse Public Library and I'm so glad you could join me today for our story time short. So I'll read one book, we'll sing one song together and we'll play a fun flannel game as well. So let's get started. The book I chose today is called Amy Wu, here's Amy, and the perfect bow. And here is the bow. They're actually not really that big in real life. They're a delicious food you can eat, but it's just kind of funny that she's so, it's so big that she's sitting on it with her kitty cat. So this book was written by Kat Zhang and illustrated by Charlene Shua. Amy Wu and the Perfect Bow. You can see right here, her kitty is telling us B-A-O is pronounced bow, like when you bow to someone, not like bow, like the kitty's wearing. Kitties are very helpful. Amy Wu, see Amy? And the perfect bow. Amy can do a lot of things. She can brush her teeth, she can tie her shoe, she can even do both at once, sort of. But there is one thing Amy cannot, cannot do. She cannot make the perfect bow. Sometimes they come out too small. Sometimes they come out too big. Sometimes she adds too much filling, sometimes not enough, and sometimes they fall apart before they reach her mouth. She does not look very happy. Amy's mom and dad make perfect bow. So does her grandma. Their bow are soft and fluffy and so so delicious. Amy could eat them all day. Sometimes she does. See kitty cat? I think kitty wants to eat some bow too. Today, Amy is going to do it. She is going to make the world's most perfect bow. Bow making is an all day event. Amy's dad starts in the morning, mixing together the ingredients for the dough. Then it's time to knead, knead, knead. He pushes the dough. He punches the dough. Amy gives it a try too. They leave the dough to rise. Amy keeps an eye on it just in case. It grows bigger and bigger and e then bigger. Amy's dad squishes the dough down just in time. He rolls it into a log and cuts it into pieces. Meanwhile, Amy's mom seasons meat for the filling. She uses garlic, mushrooms, ginger, 
salt, and pepper. Everyone gathers around the table and rolls up their sleeves. It's time to get to work. <sighs> Amy's first bow turns out a little funny. So does the second. It's hard to know how much filling to add too little, and the bow is sad and empty. Too much and, <gasps> oops. It's also hard to pinch the bow shut just right. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Amy watches her mom make a perfect bow. She watches her dad make a perfect bow and her grandma too. They all try to teach her. Roll out the dough like this, says Amy's dad. Use just enough filling, says Amy's mom. Pinch, 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 says Amy's grandma. How does Amy look right here, friends? Kind of grumpy. Yeah, she looks grumpy. Do you ever get grumpy when you can't do something you want to? Yeah, I do too. But Amy's bow just aren't the same. They are too empty or too fat. They have holes in, in them. They leak Maybe today won't be the day after all. Maybe Amy just can't make a perfect bow. Then Amy has an idea. The pieces of dough were cut for grown-up hands. But Amy's hands are very small. She whispers her idea into her grandma's ear. Amy's grandma cuts each piece of dough into two smaller pieces. Amy-sized pieces. Now they fit perfectly in Amy's palms. Carefully, Amy rolls the dough so it's thicker on the inside and thinner at the edges. She adds just the right amount of filling. She pinch, pinch, pinches it shut. And there it is. Amy's perfect bow. It looks lovely. I would eat that, I think. She makes another and another and even more after that. She's a bow-making master. Soon all the dough and filling are gone. Everyone is tired, but they're not done yet. Amy's grandma boils a big pot of water. It's time to steam the bow. Amy keeps an eye on the steamer, just in case. All her perfect bow and all the imperfect ones, too, are snug inside. The bow are done. Amy's mom lifts the lid off the steamer. Whoosh! Out comes a puff of steam. Amy can't see anything at all.
The steam clears. There are Amy's perfect bow. They are not too small. They are not too big. They have just the right amount of filling and they do not leak. They are soft and fluffy and so, so delicious. Amy eats one and then another. Then she eats one of the not so perfect bow. And you know what? It tastes just as good. Then, friends, if you see Amy took, see Amy up here? She took her bow to her friends at school and she's sharing it. She's also sharing it with the kitty, too. That silly kitty. That was Amy Wu and the Perfect Bow by Kate Zhang and illustrated by Charlene Shua. I hope you enjoyed that one, friends. And if you like hearing about Amy, there's another picture book that's available at the library about Amy and her family as well. All right, friends, reading about all that bow made me kind of hungry. Do you think we could sing a song about food? Do you think you could help me sing Popcorn Kernels? hope you said yes because it's one of my favorite songs so if you have a scarf at home you can grab that now if you don't have a scarf that's totally fine you could get a washcloth or a dish towel a sock anything that you can shake and that you can throw and catch so maybe not something super hard a stuffy would work too all right, friends, we're gonna sing popcorn kernels. So we're gonna take our scarves and we're going to wave them in the air. And then we're gonna squish it up into our hands and shake and shake. And then it's gonna pop in the air. And you can try to catch it or you can let it fall to the ground. So if you wanna stand up while we sing this song, you absolutely can. All right, friends, can we sing popcorn kernels? Let's try it, ready? Pop. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels, in a pot, in a pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, till they pop, till they pop. Good job, friends! Can we sing that again? This time, can we sing it super duper slowly? It's kind of hard to sing slow but I think we can do it. Are you ready? Okay, let's try it. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in a pot, in a pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Good job, friends. That was really slow. Do you think we can sing super duper fast? I think we can do it. All right, I'm going to say on your mark, get set go. And then we're going to sing popcorn kernels super duper fast. Are you ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in a pot, in a pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Good job, friends. Did you catch your scarf every time? If you didn't, that's okay. I don't always catch my scarf either. All right, friends, I have one more thing for us to do before I say goodbye. We are going to find Kitty Cat. So just like Amy had her beautiful white kitty cat helping her all throughout the book, we're going to find Miss Abby's kitty cat. But my kitty cat is orange. And she's hiding under one of these hats. So we have a blue hat and an orange hat, black hat, a purple hat, and a yellow hat. And we're gonna say, kitty cat, kitty cat, are you under the, 
and choose a hat by its color. Can you help me? I know you can. All right, let's start with the orange hat. Kitty cat, kitty cat, are you under the orange hat? One, two, three. Ah, no, kitty cat. Let's not give up. Amy didn't give up when she wanted to make the perfect bow. Let's keep looking. Let's try the black hat next. Kitty cat, kitty cat, are you under the black hat? One, two, three. Ugh. No, kitty cat. We're not going to give up. Let's try the yellow hat next. Kitty cat, kitty cat, are you under the yellow hat? One, Two, three. Ugh, no kitty. Hmm. Let's try the purple hat, okay? Kitty cat, kitty cat, are you under the purple hat? One, two, three. Ugh, kitty has to be under the blue hat, right? Let's try it, friends. Kitty cat, kitty cat, are you under the blue hat? One, two, three. There she is. I bet she was sleeping under that blue hat. Meow, meow, meow. All right, friends, thank you so much for reading and singing and playing with me. We'll see you next week for more full-length story times and story time shorts. Um, if you'd like, I will be doing Minnie and Me Yoga over Zoom with Miss Corinne at 1030. So if you'd like to get the Zoom link for that, you can still sign up on our library website calendar and I can still send you that link. So there's still some time if you'd like to do some mindful movement with your little one, do some songs, and I'll also be reading a story as well. All right, friends, you have a great weekend and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.